Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Connection. I'm your host, Sabella Suarez. Today, joining me today is Sarah Nick from Energy 106. She is the radio host. Good morning. We're going to talk about how the dynamic in the airwaves has changed due to COVID-19 these last few weeks. How are you doing, Sarah? I am doing good. Thank you so much for having me on. This is really cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> There are many people that have been laid off work or have to now work from home. And how has the environment changed at Energy 106 in these last few weeks? Um, you know what? Tyler and I and everyone at Energy, we really like to keep the energy high, no pun intended when I say that, but we're a top 40 station. So our main goal is to make people happy, right? We want you to turn on the radio and we want you to be informed, but also have a good time while listening to our show. So on air, we've switched up a lot of uh, the different stories that typically we wouldn't be talking about COVID-19, but because it's so big, we have to. We're not a news station, but we're trying to keep it really light and fun, but also hit our demos. So our demos, females. And for us, it's really important, and like younger females, like millennials, like you and I. So it's really important for us to educate people, but also keep it relatable. So our environment has been overall uplifting. It's a really good environment to work in in the first place. Um, that being said, there's a lot of people out there right now that are struggling and we do know that. So we want people to turn on the radio, be able to talk to us if they need to or whatever the case is and just be really like uplifting and bring their day up because there's so much negativity going on right now that you don't need, the last thing you need is to turn on your radio and hear you know, even more bad news. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. And you host Energy Mornings alongside your best friend, Tyler Carr, where you guys can interact with one another and interact with your listeners. Um, how has the like last few weeks changed your dynamic, maybe like hosting in the mornings? Um, you know what? Um, right now, our regular callers are calling in about stories about the pandemic, and it has been hard. Our listeners are more of our friends. We don't even really call them listeners over. They're more like our squad. They hang out with us. And hearing about them going through job loss right now is super tough. We have listeners that are frontline workers that are just mentally not okay right now. So we're getting, we're getting a lot of engagement. But at the same time, we're not because people aren't waking up and the first thing they're thinking is, oh, I'm going to turn on the radio and call into a certain topic or whatever the case is. So it's kind of changed the dynamic of our show a bit because we usually have tons of callers on and there are usually really fun topics. Um, some stories that we're hearing right now are, are tough to hear because they're our friends and they're going through a tough time. So right now, I think the most challenging part under these circumstances is hearing our friends, our listeners going through job loss and, you know, and their kids being home from school, like it's not easy mentally on anyone right now. Yeah, for sure. And um, for sure. many listeners listen to your show and are able to laugh and um, maybe like relate to you, um, even though they don't know you in person. So what do you do to better connect with your listeners? Um, I always say that radio is 24 seven, like it's a go, go, go field. Excuse me. It's a go, go, go field. So like when you're not on air, you're still in the public eye. And especially with social media now, like you are constantly, constantly, constantly replying to listeners, giving them feedback, like messaging you, DMing you. You have to be there for them, especially during this time because they just need someone to talk to. So Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, that's what the kiddos are using. Tyler's super into that right now. Um, all of these platforms, you have to be social on, and not just your station platform, but also your personal one. I find that I get more messages on my personal account than on my station account because they're specifically asking me a question, not just this, uh, the radio station as a whole. So I think right now to connect with your listeners, social media is your number one target, or even doing like video calls, whatever the case is, like, if a listener needs you right now, now is the time to shine and be there for that person. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And um, lately, Energy 106 is encouraging local businesses that are still open um, to share with their listeners um, that they are still open. Um, why is it important to support local businesses during this time? And for the local businesses that would like to be included in the Energy 106 list, um, how can they do that? Oh my goodness. Well, first off, thank you for listening. That's awesome. Um, I think supporting local is huge all the time. Most of my clothing, uh, food, restaurants, all that stuff that I go, beers that I drink, it's all local. I really like supporting local. Um, this is super important because our segment that we're doing right now that you're referring to is called Local Light. And this is where we're shining a light on local businesses, local people, because it's been extremely tough to get these messages out. People can't afford advertising right now is a huge thing. So we decided, you know what, screw that. We're going to go kind of against the grain. We're going to have these small businesses on. We're not going to charge them. We're just going to hear their story and how it's impacting Winnipeg as a whole. Because this is all going to come back, right? This goes full circle. So uh, Winnipeg is, first off, a great place to start a small business. So we have lots. And now that we have a pandemic here, um, massive amounts of money is being lost. And this is money that goes into our economy. So it's really important, especially at this time, to shop local so these businesses can stay open. Um, and, you know, they're offering tons of different specials, too, and trying to give back to COVID-19. So if you are interested in joining our local light or even hearing the segment, we do it Monday through Friday, just after 7 o'clock and just after 8.30. And if you are a business and you're struggling right now, or if you're a local person and you kind of just want to get your name out there or you're doing something really cool in the community, you can feel free to shoot me a message on social media. That's probably your easiest way. So my handle for all of them is at Sarah Nick FM. So it's S A R A H N I C K F M. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now question, um, energy 106 is known for playing all the hits. I want to know what are the hits that you've been playing the most during this virus outbreak? Um, that's, I love that question. Uh, Tyler and I are very different when it comes to music. So I am more of like mm -hmm. the rap queen. And he is more of the top 40 prince. I always call it that way. So right now, Tuesday Slide is definitely um, on my list. That's something that we just added in rotation. It's blowing up clearly everywhere right now. And it's Drake. He's hot and awesome and goes number one all the time. Um, kids are doing the TikTok to it, so that's definitely my number one. But I also do want to say, Jesse Reyes, she's not a huge um, singer right now. She is in Canada. She's from Canada. She just dropped an album. It is fantastic. And the Weekends album, the new Weekend album is super good. So try those out. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> And before we finish our interview, um, many of us at the broadcast and media program are now learning about the radio and the television industry and also becoming passionate about this. Um, so as a radio host yourself, what advice could you give to students who would also be interested in doing radio? Um, okay, my one piece of advice, I have a thousand things I could go off of, but a big one that I always like to say is to network, just like you're doing right now, meet people in the industry, uh, don't be afraid to reach out to media personalities, I promise we are not scary people, we are not going to bite, we actually really love talking, in case you haven't noticed, so just ask questions, shake, uh, I was going to say shake hands, but touch elbows, whatever you're supposed to do right now, um, stay connected with these people though, like, no joke, the person who helped me get my very first job in radio, we still talk almost every single day. He's told me about different jobs that he thinks I would be good at and a bunch of different stuff. So like, just make sure that you're always networking and keeping in touch with people and make good connections. Like I said, people in radio and media in general are pretty friendly and we're really easy to contact through social media now. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for participating in our show today, Sarah. This was so fun. Oh my goodness. I wish I had this when I went to school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this was today's edition of the Connection Podcast. We hope you enjoyed our show talking about how the dynamic in radio has changed in these last few weeks due to the coronavirus. Um, please make sure to check our social media links, uh, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at LRSD TV. 
But also check out our Twitter account at LRSD underscore TV for more information about our shows. Have a great day and remember to always stay safe and stay connected. Bye.